I'm a health psychologist, but I had actually never heard of pediatric psychology until I needed one for myself and my family. Uh, my daughter Claire, just a month or two before her third birthday, was diagnosed with cancer. Shortly before my third birthday, I was diagnosed with Ewing sarcoma, which is a relatively rare form of bone cancer. Um, I endured around 11 months of chemotherapy and over a dozen surgeries, um, and then ended up getting a um, bone transplant to help um, alleviate the um, type of cancer in my leg. What pediatric psychologists helped us with was adapting to all of those changes. Uh, learning how to uh, deal with injections, multiple injections, uh, taking pills, coping with the changes that come along with chemotherapy, changes to school and friends, and just generally coping with uh, your life being turned upside down by a diagnosis of cancer. So the new Center for Pediatric Psychology is an awesome addition to our department and really recognizes uh, a few decades of excellence in that area uh, for our department. The center is designed to really enhance our efforts in uh, training uh, future pediatric psychologists. So there's an educational branch to this. Uh, there's a research component uh, such that uh, Dr. Cheney and I have collaborated for many years uh, working with kids with, uh, and their families, uh, kids uh, who are facing cancer, uh, sickle cell disease, uh, cystic fibrosis, diabetes. We will be uh, continuing to develop those uh, collaborative efforts, uh, but we're also going to push forward with seeking uh, additional grant funding uh, for the center. Uh, we also are going to continue to enhance our clinical efforts. Uh, currently, our graduate students work at the Odie Health Sciences Center and a number of clinics uh, serving youth with various uh, chronic health conditions, then hopefully spread uh, as we can through the state and through the communities uh, as we, you know, get additional resources to do that.